Okay, Lomp Ends, you ready? It's been pouring rain here. I came out and I got a quick cut here on the front yard Bermuda with the real mower. Here's an update on the chipping green. I increased the size of the fringe. What's a fringe? It's where you grow the grass higher than the how to cut on the green itself. So it went from that second ring that you see, blue ring, back here. And when I move over here, you'll see a difference. Um, and the lawn's filling in pretty good. I gave it a fur app the other day. And right here, you can see the different direction of the fringe compared to the cut. And it's actually, when it fills in, it'll be a lot more visible. Now, I wanna talk to you about something. I'm at about two o'clock in the afternoon, overcast skies. And you're looking at my yard right now. I'm helping my neighbor out this season. I'm doing some um, spot treatments on his yard. Not spot treatments, periodic treatments on his lawn. And I'm real cutting this. So he has decided he wants to move from rotary mowing, which he's got a very nice rotary mower, to real mowing. And I explained to him that um, real mowing is not coming out here once a week um, and cutting your yard. Real mowing is two to three times a week if you want a nice low cut lawn. All right, so take a look here. These are brand new blades on his mower. It's a brand new mower and he's still getting the circle marks in it. Well, uh, Bermuda Brian, it's because his lawn's not level. We have done a leveling application or two, two or three on this lawn. And um, he's still got some issues and uh, we're gonna do another one this season. But if you look at the circular marks, that's rotary mowing, that's what you get. Now, if he didn't have a brand new mower, didn't have brand new blades on this thing, um, I would say, hey, look, either your blade weight is off, it's not balanced, um, your lawn is way uneven, it could be a, uh, your lawnmower deck could be off, your wheels could be um, set at different heights. It could be a myriad of different things, but that's not the case in this lawn. So he wants to up his game. He knows with a real mower, you've got to be comfortable with backlapping, that's sharpening the reels, You've got to take your mower to some place to have the bed knife ground when it gets dull and worn down. You have to be okay with swapping out belts, drive belts on it, chains, the drive chain, um, just doing all sorts of different mechanical work that's required over the life of owning a real mower. So if you are not mechanically inclined and you can't work on small engines, things like that, the real mower's not for you. If you do not like to cut grass or you think that you only want to cut once a week, a real mower is not the mower for you. Now, this is a very shortcut lawn right here. I cut my grass all the time. I maintain my grass. I do a lot of things to my grass. So it looks like this. This doesn't come from one time a week cutting your grass and then sticking your lawn mower in the shed, pulling it out next time. You will always have things that you have to deal with with a real mower and you'll always be doing stuff in your lawn if you use a real mower and you cut short. That's basically the gist of this today. Giving you guys an update. Um, let's see here, today's the 22nd of May, I believe. And that's it, Bermuda Brian, out.